So, welcome to my second rather self-indulgent vlog. Um, I'm filming these things as much as anything as a personal record uh, for next year when perhaps I'm working on my rather high golf handicap uh, to remember what I was doing a year earlier with quite a lot of cardio activity. Anyway, I've just returned from four days in Dover, which was frankly bloody cold. Uh, the sea's on the way up in terms of temperature, but it started uh, on Monday at about 13.6, 13.7 degrees. Uh, and I actually failed in my first couple of attempts swimming in the sea where I only did um, an hour for my first swim and an hour and a half for my second swim, trying to do two and then three. So I only did half distance. Uh, and this was troubling. Uh, not only for the body, I had real pain in my hip flexors uh, because of the cold, but also the mind. I haven't actually got out of a swim before early, I don't think, apart from one time a couple of years ago when there was quite a lot of lightning. Uh, but fortunately, I managed to get a little bit of a grip and then did a three-hour swim and a six-hour swim. So eventually, I managed to cage the chimp. Uh, I'm going to take you through uh, a series of videos, a little bit more running, some training in the boxing gym, um, and one of the swims at Dover. Um, and yes, I'm just hugely grateful to everyone for their support. So thank you very much indeed. So here's Will, William Barrett, uh, doing an eight hour swim on the Van Ridge swim camp at Deal in Kent, looking really strong. So Will and I started this journey three years ago when he was, had booked an English Channel solo swim and then informed me that that was sort of a tester swim to see if he had arch to arc in him. So we're at Deal, Kent, the water temperature is around 14 degrees. Don't let that sunshine fool you. And out of anyone I have coached in the English Channel, Will is the person that has such grit and determination. And I know that grit and determination, along with his hard, hard training, um, will get him from Marble Arch to the Arc de Triomphe. So proud of this man. He's become a dear friend. So these are some of the miles that count. Training, running to my children's school today. In order to go and watch some cricket. It's about 35 miles away. Left in reasonable time, but still slightly on the clock. But the key is not to go too fast. Go too fast, I'll blow up. It's happened plenty of times before, as many of you know. So slow and steady. Chuck out 10, 11 minute miles. Walk up hills. It's interesting, the whole psyche has changed for me running. Because on an 87 mile run to Dover, everyone has to walk a bit. Even the semi-pros that have done this thing. And therefore you use the hills as your rest. So we look forward to a hill now rather than dread it. Anyway, we'll get to school, watch the cricket and then take a view on whether we turn around and 
head back on foot or in the motor car. We'll see. So today, same clothes, different day. We're a week on from my last video. Um, and this time I run from home to a village called Reefham, which is about 20 miles on the road. And now I've got the joy of running down an old railway line, the Marritt's Way. It's lovely, a bit softer under the feet than the tarmac, flat, plenty of shade, and it's going to make for a nice run into the middle of Norwich, where the real incentive is today. I'm meeting my family and we're going to go and watch Top Gun. So I've got all those wonderful tunes going through my head. Anyway, I've decided to knock it back a bit tight this time. About 20, 30 seconds a mile slower. Doesn't matter. The run's not a race. The key is to get there in one piece with plenty of energy for the swim. And normally I start to feel it around the 18th mile. We're 23 miles in now and pretty comfortable. So that's very positive. So some of you might recognize the scene behind me. It's the absolutely stunning Burnham Overy. You can see some of the boats here. It's not quite high tide yet, otherwise there'd be a bit more action. Uh, Burnham Overy is a place that I've done a lot of my training, swimming in the sea. Um, love it down here. Uh, and it's also witnessed quite a lot of my troubles. The Norfolk Superhero is an event where we swim a mile, we kayak four miles, we then bike 45, and then run eight miles down the beach and on the marsh, just behind, as you can see. And I've run out of en energy a few times on that run. It's brutal, particularly on a lovely hot day like it is today. The Arch to Arc is all about pacing, and hopefully, I will have learned some lessons by going too hard too early out there. Finally, I'm doing this for two reasons, as I think you know. The first one is a personal goal uh, to see where I break. Arguably, I know where I break. It's on the superhero run when the sun's out. But this is a different challenge and one that I'm much looking forward to taking on. The second reason is probably less selfish and it's to try and raise money for a couple of charities. In my first vlog, I spoke of three. I'm actually gonna do it for two because there are two real reasons for me to do this. And they're in honor and memory of two friends of mine and my brothers who have left us far, far too young. And therefore, I'm gonna do Arch to Arc for the two charities that are posted on the website below. And I'd be hugely grateful if you could give any amount to help me get across. These two people were inspirations to both of us. And I know that they'll be with me as we get from Marble Arch to the Art of Triumph. <laughs>